there, this is Osa with a new process video. Today I'm doing something different and uh, the background for this is that when we went on vacation this summer I kept like a diary in on uh, Facebook and uh, after every day that we were away I wrote a little yeah like a story about what we had done and uh, then I enclosed a photo collage that I did with uh, Project Life app and uh, just these this uh, nine uh, square grid and uh, nine photos of the day and I did that for both our uh, trips away from home the one when we went to uh, Hörlich and the one when we went visiting my mom and uh, I decided right away that I need to include include these stories and the photo collages into my scrapbooking so so this is the first occasion uh, we went to uh, seaside resort uh, on Saturday the first day <laughs> after finishing work and uh, we stayed there for the weekend and it was lovely and uh, for these days I have printed uh, on my home photo printer the collages that I uh, uploaded to the Facebook and I have also printed the text so that it looks similar to what it looks like on Facebook. So I basically just copied everything and made it into the yeah the, the size or the proportions that I feel that it has on, on Facebook. And I've cut everything out and I've also cut, um, printed on my home computer a couple of images that feels really Facebook to me, the thumbs up and the logo. And these uh, elements I'm going to place on this uh, blue uh, diagonal striped background paper. Uh, so this will be a fairly mm, like easy or a simple page, but it will also be very informative about how Facebook looked <laughs> this summer and uh, just the, the, the idea of, of just posting your, your vacation onto social media. So I, I thought it was like a time portrait at the same time as it was very good way of including journaling since I already had written the journaling on, on Facebook. Yeah, you, you understand. Uh, I, at, at this moment it feels like Facebook will be around forever but perhaps it won't. Uh, I, I thought of the exact same things of the previous uh, social media sites that I've been a member of. So um, probably one day it will be something completely different or at least it will change so that it looks completely different. But I went with the blue colors, I went with the, the icons and the logo and how, what my uh, what my profile picture looks at the moment and the, the font and everything. So uh, I felt that I got the things that I needed. <laughs> and now I've glued everything onto the background paper and now I'm just looking to see if I can, if I can find embellishments to go with this theme because I have some empty space and you know I'm not a fan of empty space. It needs to be filled up with something and I suddenly remembered a die that I had. I bought it, uh, it was one of these items, you know, that you get obsessed with. <laughs> you ever, does it ever happen to you? It's, it certainly happens to me a lot <laughs> and, and I can't get them out of my mind. And sadly, most of the time when I actually get the item, the kind of the obsession has already faded away a bit. So um, it becomes some, somewhat of an anti-climax because yeah it's not the same <laughs> or or it doesn't fill that little hole that needed to be filled so uh, it's it's uh, it's a uh, feeling and uh, yeah it's a feeling that i've been trying to to uh, um, work with over the last year when i've been on the spending freeze because i have realized that this is repeating over and over again I, I get obsessed with an item or a symbol. At the moment it is coffee cups or takeaway coffee cups. That's the, the thing that I'm totally obsessed with. If I see a roll of tape, I need it. It's, it doesn't matter if it costs th three bucks instead of <laughs> 50 cents. Yeah it's, yeah, yeah, it's beyond reason, really. And this die 
or set of dice that I bought a while back it has the the camera and it also has the little um, the silhouette of a car and uh, it has the, the other set has the cameras or, or no the yeah the cameras the different kind of cameras so these two I bought at the same time it's got icons and you, and you know exactly when in time this was <laughs> a couple of years back and uh, these two sets I'm going to, to use them on with white cardstock paper and punch out symbols that go with this uh, yeah the theme so I will add the the little um, smartphone and I will add the car and I will add the geotag and yeah those those things that go really well together with uh, vacation and then I'm going to place those with the uh, days that I have wrote about on my uh, layout uh, when I started talking you saw that I also placed the the numbers uh, day one day two and day three and uh, in one of the places it the number goes first f before the word day and that was totally just layout wise b because I think that sometimes you need to put layout before grammar and that's just because the brain does the rest for you it it fills in where the grammar is lacking <laughs> So, so uh, you will see that when the, when the layout comes back, that I have, uh, I, I put the, the number where it should go, layout-wise, and then I place the word day where I had room left. And I'm totally okay with that, and it was something that I was thinking about for about two minutes, and then I decided that, that uh, it was most important that the layout was uh, pleasing to the eye, and not that it was uh, correct in, uh, in the the order of the words yeah you understand uh, the little smartphone there it had uh, inside uh, the kind of the screen uh, as a, a die on its own and I decided to uh, cut that in black and place it on the white because I have a white phone so it, it will look perfect totally my my uh, my phone then and uh, I think that the the die actually uh, shows uh, an iPhone because that's <laughs> I, I feel that that's the, the kind of proportions but my phone is so much looking like the one so, so that's no problem I'm, I've got a Samsung and um, uh, yeah it will it will be nothing to that I think will think more about so here I'm just piecing the, the phones together and uh, those will be repeating elements on the page and I will place one at by each day mm -hmm. so then the cars for the days that we did the most of the driving and the geotag and yeah I, I really love the icons you know that <laughs> And, and this was a perfect way to, to kind of uh, make, make this purchase justice <laughs> or <laughs> make it, it, it worth, um, worth. And now I need a title. And above those thumbs up, I'm going to spell my title and I'm going to use uh, thickers and the word that we use in daily, uh, daily talk about Facebook because here it's called Feyan and I will pl place the word within these star signs so that it looks a little bit more fun and that it also becomes a little bit more uh, wide because uh, I had more space than I had title. And this is the finished page and I will most definitely make one of these again because this was really fun and, uh, and I, since I make these journaling pieces on online, I, I guess that this is a perfect way of including that journaling in my scrapbooking and uh, then I don't need to write journaling on every page and I'm not particularly fond of that so so this is a perfect way of um, making use of the text that I've already written yeah hope that you enjoyed this new idea and I hope to see you soon again this is Osa bye